So I've got another Cisco antenna for us to take a look at. I picked this up pretty cheap. I think I paid £6 for this. Uh, it's not new. It's uh, not new old stock. It's uh, been used, but uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, it's the uh, Air ANT 2506. Uh, we've had a look at uh, a similar one to this previously on this channel, which was a uh, ceiling fan. And that had a uh, pretty unique um, uh, element in it. Uh, it wasn't as, uh, you know, a, a straightforward design as what we thought. In fact, let me just get that. So this is it. This is from the Cisco ceiling fan. And uh, basically, it's, it's a Hertzian dipole. It's uh, the 5 dB version of the Hertzian dipole. We've got uh, quarter wavelength here, quarter wavelength here. Uh, loading coil as a separator and then uh, I think I measured this at the time I think it's uh, half wavelength or maybe just a little bit more but uh, it's unusual because it's got this shape here and that was to do with beam forming with it being a uh, ceiling antenna this helped with the beam forming to spread it out a little bit like a down lighter in your front room something like that but uh, yeah this was a nice antenna I'm hoping we get something unusual in this one as well um, uh, Cisco claimed 5.2 dB, so maybe it's not just a, a straightforward uh, dipole in there, Hertzian dipole, I don't know, maybe we've got something different. But before I take it to bits, we'll take it over to the test bench, pretty sure that uh, with this being a Cisco antenna it'll be spot on for uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but uh, let's take it over and have a quick look. So here it is on the uh, test bench then, and the output is kind of what you would expect from a company like Cisco. So here we are then, we're scanning from uh, 1 GHz over here all the way up to 3 GHz, and you can see this dip here, bang on in the uh, Wi-Fi spectrum at the moment, the cursor's on uh, 2.49 GHz, 2.50 GHz, so yeah, spot on in that Wi-Fi spectrum which is uh, you know what you would expect from a company like Cisco so yeah uh, over on the test bench it worked as uh, Cisco claims it does for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi so no surprises there so let me see how we can get into this I don't want to destroy it if I have to but uh, yeah we've got a lot of sealant around here maybe if I drill that rivet out but uh, give me 10 minutes let me have a look at it now as you can see here on the bench i've got on the inside of this so we've managed to get the element out and yeah i'm a little bit disappointed it's exactly the same uh, element as uh, cisco have in their ceiling antenna i can't remember if we had uh, these uh, ferrite uh, chokes on here on the uh, previous one but uh, yeah it's exactly the same as their uh, ceiling antenna they're just marketing this one a little bit differently this is the element from that uh, ceiling antenna from uh, a few years ago now on this channel uh, this is the case that I've managed to find that uh, is on the ceiling one so a little bit different than uh, this case in here basically the uh, coax went in from the side there this was uh, connected on there like so and uh, it has this screw thread here and uh, these connections that I've never opened they uh, would connect onto the ceiling of an office something like that and that would screw into there and the coax would uh, come out of the side and this would hang down uh, in the office and uh, yeah it's exactly the same one it does mean that I've got two of these now I don't really need two of these this one as you can see I've modified so I can use it but uh, yeah it's exactly the same now people might say that uh, that this is not a dipole antenna but uh, that's exactly what it is it's a hertzian dipole here i've got a 5 db antenna uh, that i've uh, made myself uh, the measurements are exactly the same we've got a quarter wavelength 25 millimeters here we've got a quarter wavelength here 25 millimeters and then we've got the uh, loading coil here on this one I've got another quarter um, wavelength here at 25 millimeters this one extends out a little bit longer um, probably half wave that but uh, yeah it's uh, just a Hertzian dipole just uh, a little bit differently configured um, people have said in the previous video when I, when I uh, first looked at uh, the ceiling 
one of this that uh, possibly the null on this uh, dipole arrangement would be virtually non-existent you, you won't get rid of the null completely but it will be so narrow that uh, you know you might as well say that uh, it doesn't exist with the beam forming that you get from that particular shape but yeah we'll be disappointed it wasn't something different for us to look at and as for the length of this uh, end piece we're getting about uh, 66 67 millimeters which is probably a uh, half wavelength measure uh, remember all the mathematics will be different because of uh, you know the different arrangements of this antenna but uh, yeah I've, I've kind of made these where I've uh, gone a little bit longer to try and get uh, you know an extra half a dB of gain and uh, I've aimed for a uh, 70 millimeter measurement for the end piece here which if memory serves that's a uh, a three-quarter wave uh, measurement um, for a Hertzian dipole. I can't really remember off the top of my head now, but uh, you can see what they're doing. You get extra bandwidth uh, across here, but uh, this is more to do with uh, beam forming to get to, uh, you know, such a low null and uh, coverage over a wider area. And if you're interested, what these two uh, little uh, pieces here either side, like little wings. On the side here what uh, their job is that will be uh, lowering the VSWR so you would better have better matching for uh, 50 ohm impedance that's what they're doing there just like you do with uh, a patch antenna uh, you do a similar kind of thing with the feed on the patch antenna it's exactly the same kind of thing that's happening here as well so if you did enjoy this video please give it a uh, thumbs up comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them and hopefully you'll join me on the next one is the uh, ceiling to ceiling fan